Image copyright Northumbria Police Image caption left to right, row by row, starting top left A. Samu Savi, Muhammad Ali, Nashir Adan, Monjour Chowdhury, Tahe Rul Alam, Habiba Rahim, Badrul Hussein, Carolan Gallan, Saiful Islam, Abdul Hamid Minoye, Prabhat Nelly, Abdul Sabe, Jahang Azaman, Madim Aslam, Muhammad Azram, Yasser Hussein, Red Winsard K. Mohibur Rahman 18 people have been convicted of abusing girls in Newcastle who were plied with alcohol and drugs before being forced to have sex. The vulnerable victims, some as young as 14, were exploited by a cynical organization, a court heard. The 17 men and one woman were convicted of rape, supplying drugs and conspiracy to incite prostitution. Over the course of four trials, 20 young women gave evidence covering a period from 2011 to 2014. These trials involved 26 defendants, who were mostly Asian, facing a total of more than 100 charges and 22 victims. Those prosecuted were from the Bangladeshi, Pakistani, Indian, Iraqi, Iranian and Turkish communities and mainly British-born, with most living in the West End of Newcastle. Of the 26, three people have been jailed. The rest will be sentenced next month. It also emerged during the court process that police paid a convicted child rapist £10,000 as an informant. The victims were at first flattered by the attention of the men who apparently befriended them, but were then lured to parties, known as sessions, by the promise of alcohol and drugs often mephedrone or MKAT, Newcastle Crown Court heard. Bags of MKAT were left on coffee tables for the girls to help themselves. The parties took place at premises around the West End, including the top floor of Tower Block Todd's Nook, where one teenager said she was raped three times. The prosecution said they became the vulnerable victims of an organized, cynical, systematic organization in which they were passed between their abusers. Media playback is unsupported on your device. Media caption Operation Sanctuary was the biggest investigation into sexual exploitation by Northumbria police. Some spoke of being too intoxicated to defend themselves, while others became addicted and had to commit sexual acts in return for drugs. One victim said she had attended about 60 parties and another told of going to an address where there were two older men and a woman, who seemed frightened and scared, like a slave. She said they told us what she would do for them for money and drugs are shared get battered. Another victim said I knew that if we wanted drugs or alcohol we would have to do something. He had us too intoxicated to fight him off. One time, he locked the door. I was told I would only be allowed out if I had sex. Northumbria police set up Operation Sanctuary in December 2013 to investigate claims of sexual abuse against girls and young women. The investigation is ongoing and to date has resulted in 461 arrests. Police have spoken to 703 potential complainants and 278 victims have been identified. Image caption The victims were abused at addresses around the west end of Newcastle due to its size. The investigation was split into a number of spin-off operations. Operation Shelter uncovered groups of men in the west end of Newcastle many of whom were known to each other who exploited vulnerable young women and girls over a period from 2010 to 2014. This eventually led to four separate trials, the first commencing in September the 2015 and the final one which has just concluded, allowing previous reporting restrictions to be lifted. Chris Jackson, BBC Inside Out in the North East and Cumbrias era not her real name was 19 extremely vulnerable and unable to look after herself. Along with other atrist teenagers she was regularly abused by older men. In the new year of 2014, Sarah told the police she had been raped by Abdul Minoye. A police officer took Sarah on a tour of the West End to try identify Minoye's house and car and other places where these parties had taken place. Sarah's information was a red flag the abuse was on a much bigger scale. The detective in charge of Sarah's case told his bosses that what she had said signaled something much bigger. Days later the officer's hunch was given added weight when two girls in care reported that they had been repeatedly raped by a group of older Asian men. The girls were aged 14 and 15. They described being driven into Newcastle where they were plied with alcohol and cocaine before being raped and beaten by several men. They were given money before being returned home. One of the victims was in local authority care at the time. Newcastle City Council has launched a serious case review that is due to be published in December. Council leader Nick Forbes said these were vile crimes committed by evil men. The victims have been brave beyond belief and undoubtedly have made our city safer. Chief Constable Steve Ashman said we have not and will not stop. 
There has been no political correctness here. These are criminals and there has been no hesitation in arresting them and targeting them using all the means at our disposal. Now that reporting restrictions can be lifted, it can be revealed that a police officer was sacked for failing to investigate a sex offender's phone. It related to an earlier Operation Sanctuary investigation, which resulted in the conviction of Barmani Ahmadi. Mr. Ashman said the officer should have been much more diligent, and that his dismissal should provide reassurance that the police culture in Northumbria had changed. The 18 defendants and their convictions Mohammed Azram, 35 of Croydon Road, convicted of conspiracy to incite prostitution, sexual assaults, supplying drugs to a victim Jahangir's Ayman, 43 of Hadrian Road, convicted of conspiracy to incite prostitution, rape, supplying drugs to a victim Nashir Adan, 35 of Jones Street, convicted of conspiracy to incite prostitution, supplying drugs to a victim Saif al-Islam, 34 of Strathmore Crescent, convicted of rape. Jailed for 10 years Muhammad Hassan Ali, 33 of Bentinck Street, convicted of sexual activity with a child, supplying drugs to a victim. Jailed for 7 years Yasser Hussein, 27 of Canning Street, convicted of beating, possession of drugs. Jailed for 2 years Abdul Sabay, 40 of Dean House, convicted of conspiracy to incite prostitution, trafficking within the UK for sexual exploitation, drugs offences Habiba Rahim, 34 of Kenilworth Road, convicted of causing or inciting prostitution, drugs, sexual assaults, trafficking within the UK for sexual exploitation Badrul Hussein, 37 of Drybeck Court, convicted of drug offences Mohiba Rahman, 44 of Northcote Street, pleaded guilty to conspiracy to incite prostitution Institution, supplying drugs to a victim Abdul Hamid Minoye, 33 of Gainsborough Grove, convicted of rape, sexual assault, supply of drugs Caroline Gallen, 22 of Hairside Court, pleaded guilty to three counts of trafficking Monjour Chowdhury, 33 of Philip Place, convicted of conspiracy to incite prostitution, supplying drugs to a victim Prabhat Nelly, 33 of Sydney Grove, convicted of conspiracy to incite prostitution, supplying drugs to a victim Asa Musavi, 41 of Todd's Nook, convicted of conspiracy to incite prostitution, rape, supplying drugs to a victim Tahe Rule Alam, 32 of Normanton Terrace, convicted of conspiracy to incite prostitution, supplying drugs to a victim, attempted sexual assault Nadim Aslam, 43 of Belgrove West, convicted of supplying drugs to victims Redwin Sud K, 32 of West Road, pleaded guilty to causing or inciting prostitution, supply or offering to supply a Class B. You can see more on this story on Inside Out on BBC One in the North East and Cumbria at 19.30 BST and on the BBC News Channel at 20.30 BST.